Well, hello everyone. It is Pumpkin Tober the 1st, 2021. I am Adele Delbridge Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It is Friday and this is your status check. Do have the numbers as always and we'll run our little pesky little advert just like we need to to keep uh, the Real Estate Commission happy and everyone hunky and dory both. Now, in today's news, there's really not anything tremendously earth shattering. I think I'll skip a lay-in segment that we've done the last couple of days and just simply say prices are going up. And in fact, uh, recently it's not been a good day for some of the markets simply because the Democrats are trying to force through another, what, three and a half trillion dollars of new money being spent. And what happens when we print new money? If you want to think of the nation's perceived net worth as being a big pie, there's only so much of it there. No matter how many times you want to slice it up, there's only so much of it. And when you start slicing a value of some sort into smaller pieces, the smaller pieces get worth less money. And so that triggers inflation. I know that's a little simple, a little simple version of it, but we keep printing money in the name of Rona and it's going to kill us. It's going to bite us on the butt. We've got, we're starting to have supply chain issues. I'm not real sure what's behind that. There are a number of different stories beyond that. I don't really know. Short of a lot of stuff are on back order. I've got one cover to go on the well house that's been on back order for two months. Keeps being promised to come in, hadn't showed up yet. So this is bound to be an aggravation. It's hard, I, I guess, on the builders when they can't get their plastic nail on boxes. I've had friends tell me they just painted a house and need just a little bit more to touch up a few thin spots and that particular color is not available. I've got a friend of mine who does t-shirts. He prints printed material. Some of his inks are having the same problem and they always blame it on some kind of a plant in Texas blowing up or burning up or something like that. We just have to take them at their word that there's a legitimate cause for that. What I do know is things are getting more expensive. So that actually kicked a little bit of a, of a buying spurt in there. We, our interest rates came back down, but we have Janet Yellen talking about uh, making some changes to fiscal policy at the Fed. And of course we have Washington, we have the White House saying they want to raise a bunch of taxes on people. All of this is uncertainty and it's shaking the market a little bit. Now I did show on Facebook on the business page, I showed this one little graph and I'll put it up here for you today and put this article in the description in today's status chat so you can see, you read the whole thing. But it's basically foreshadowing a massive jump in the price of housing. It says U U.S. Standard & Poor's CoreLogic Case-Shiller Index momentum continues up 19.7%. And we're just, that's just going up with uh, the housing. And it's talking about the 10 and 20 city average. And it's got a cute little chart right there that shows ah, another Al Gorean hockey stick, except this one's not good either and this is for july we are just started october and so we'll soon have uh, september october november we'll keep going up those months i'm sure we're going to slow down a little bit because of the weather which means availability of homes will be a little bit different but the rise sees no indication it's going to slow down in the near future so let's hope we have some productive talks and some minimum expenses being paid for some minimum outlays of cash being spent at the national level and maybe we can get a hold of this inflation before it buries our economy. So as always, we have to run our commercial. Let's get that thing done. Hello, I'm Del Delbert to Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. If you are currently unrepresented and would like to know how to compare up to three properties side by side and room by room, then go over to my new YouTube channel. Call Dell to sell. That's one L and Dell, no spaces. Watch the demo on Real Scout, and then call me, and we'll set up your exclusive ad-free account today. Now that that's done, let's look at the numbers. 
and we do have a reversal a little bit from last week 92421 we had 10146 in the availables we had 4735 in the under contract still showing that was up the availables were down and the ratio went up to 47 percent now this week 10 1 21 we had 10 150 which is only four more offerings but it is up a little bit and then 45 48 which is down quite a bit in the under contracts still showing from the previous week which would tell me we closed some houses that we had going on and the ratio between those at the energy level dropped two percentage points to 45 that's a pretty good jump and that is your numbers for 10 1 21. thank you for watching check out the website called dell to sell.com that's one l and l and two in the others and uh, we'll see you next week